is Julie Olison. I am now a senior at Christopher Newport University, about to hit graduation, so this is a really exciting time um, for me as well as my family. Um, the church literally saved my life. So on January 2nd, um, my parents took me to Fairfax Nova Hospital because we had called our um, on-call pediatrician and she had thought that I was gonna have a stroke. And I, I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, I'm, I just turned 21. Like, there's no way I'm gonna have a stroke. Like, this is ridiculous. And they immediately ran CAT scan and MRIs and they found a tumor the size of a lemon in the frontal right portion of my brain. So like in that moment, we were just, completely awestruck and turned to my dad and I said, Dad, what do we do? What do we do? And then he just immediately, we just prayed. You know, I'm thinking like, I'm, I just turned 21. Like, I, I didn't even get to graduate college. Like, I want a family, I, you know, I want all these things for myself. That's when I realized how serious it was. And I'll never forget the first people that were there. Oh gosh, I'm gonna cry. Um, were Dale Sutherland and <laughs> DJ and Jess Corky, um, and they just came, the church body just came together. I remember getting a text from one of my friends saying, hey, would you be okay if a bunch of us caravaned after the 1045 service and came um, to pray over you before your surgery tomorrow? I called it a prayer flash mob, I guess, and um, apparently there was over 100 people in the Fairfax Hospital waiting room um, throughout my surgery, you know, post-operation when I couldn't even see any of these people that were, you know, in the operating room, just knowing that they were there and that the church body was there was just such a powerful feeling. And I was told going into the surgery that it was a possibility that I would never walk or talk again. And so that was something that was definitely a really challenging thing to hear. But the surgery was completed in two hours and 15 minutes. But what that surgery left me with was um, a cancer called anaplastic ependymoma grade three. It's an extremely aggressive form of brain cancer. So Exodus 14, 14, the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Every morning during my radiation, I would have to lay completely still in my proton radiation machine or else the treatment wouldn't work. I would just lay there and recite that um, verse to myself. And being ill had, you know, made me absolutely dependent on the Lord. I just clung to him at every second of every hour. God worked so deeply um, and so passionately through the church and each of its members, and I was able to see that. People should not feel sorry for me because I am alive in Christ. I am more alive now than I was before I was sick, and I am not defined by my cancer. I am not defined by statistics. I am not defined by my illness. I am not defined by the results of my next MRI in eight weeks. I am defined by the Lord and the Lord only.